guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing extremely well. So today's video is going to be a first impressions video on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I bought this foundation a few weeks ago from Mecca Maxima, but I haven't used it yet. I've been waiting to use it specifically for this video. I thought it would be really cool to use it for the first time in a video and let you guys know how I feel about it while I'm using it. So yeah, I thought that would be really cool. I bought two shades of the foundation. This is actually all they had in stock while I was there. It is, well the first one's the shade light beige and then the second one is golden. Light beige looks like it would be a pretty good match and golden's just a darker tan, more tan colour. So if they do not match my skin tone then oh well. But this was literally the lightest shade they had in stock. So I just grabbed it anyway and I'm just hoping for the best. But I tried it on my hand in store and it looks pretty good. So it should be okay but before I start excuse this I know you, you guys are going to be looking at it but this was the result of trying to remove a blackhead and as you can tell it obviously didn't go too well it's just turned into a scabby little bruise and it actually really hurts but yeah we're gonna, we're gonna cover that today as well but yeah what else that's probably it. So I am just going to jump into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Before I start though, I'm actually going to apply a oil to my face because I haven't moisturized today and it is feeling quite dry and flaky at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the Josie Marin Pure, 100% Pure Argan Oil to my skin just to give me a bit of extra hydration before I start. I'm just dropping it on my skin and I'm just rubbing it all in. I just have a pimple on my forehead and it really hurts. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and start using the foundation. First thing I have to say is that I really like the packaging. It's really cute and girly. I really like it. So it's like pink and it has the ball this way. And I like the texture of the box as well. I don't know if that was a weird thing to say, but... Ooh, you know, I actually haven't opened it either. That's the first time I opened it since I got it. But, ooh, that's a very pretty bottle. And you just pop the lid off and it's just got a nice little pump. I'm so happy that it's a pump, you guys, and not a bottle, like a bottle that you have to shake it out of because those can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So I don't have a palette on me, but I'm just going to pump it on the back of this concealer. Okay, so I'm actually going to apply it with a beauty blender. So I've just popped a bit of that on and I am going to start dabbing it onto my skin. Mmm, smells really good actually. So far, so good. The colour is actually perfect, which I'm really happy about. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to apply it with the Beauty Blender on one half of my face, and then I'm going to use a brush on the other half of my face, just to see the difference in coverage and just overall how it looks. So that's one half of my face. To be honest, I'm actually really liking it. I actually can't feel like there's anything on my face. I was a bit sceptical before starting to use it because I've heard mixed reviews about it. Like some people love it, some people don't love it, but so far so good with me. I wouldn't say it's a full coverage. I mean, I didn't apply too much of it. I've applied one layer and it's a good light to medium coverage. I would say buildable. I'm going to build it up a little bit more now and see how that goes. But definitely the more light layers you apply, it definitely covers a little bit more. But I wouldn't really call it a very full coverage foundation. So, so far for like with the application of the Beauty Blender, if you are, well the application with the Beauty Blender, if you're looking for a very full coverage foundation, then this probably isn't it. But I'm going to go ahead and apply it 
with a brush now on the other side of my face and see if that's any different. So as I mentioned, I'm going to apply the foundation onto the other side of my face with a brush and the brush that I'm going to be using is the Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. Now this is just a smaller version of a round tops kabuki, very similar to the Morphe one that I usually use, just a bit smaller. This is the Morphe one that I use as you can see, it is a little bit bigger. I'm just not using this because, as you can see, it's very dirty. And I want to use a clean brush for this video. So I've t dipped the top of that into the foundation. And now I am just applying it. So I'm not really buffing it in. I'm just like tapping it in. I feel like when I apply it with a brush I could feel it more if that makes sense. It doesn't feel as light on the skin. I definitely find that using a brush is giving it a lot more of a fuller coverage. But in saying that as well it's... I wouldn't call this a full coverage foundation. It's definitely more light to medium. One thing that I do love about it is the finish is a lot more on the dewy side and it's not really matte, which I love because my uh, dry skin does not agree with that. But the colour is actually perfect. So glad that they have this colour. So after the first application of this foundation, I actually really like it. I like the way it feels on my skin. I think I prefer applying it with the Beauty Blender though. It is a little bit more of a sheerer coverage, but it feels a lot better on my skin. I feel like when I applied it with the brush, it does come on a little bit thicker and I can just... I can feel it, if that makes sense. Do you guys get what I mean when I say that? I can just, I can feel it a lot more than the side with the Beauty Blender. That being said, the Beauty Blender is a little bit more of a sheer coverage, but I personally prefer that. I think with coverage of foundation, it's each to their own, but I prefer a more light to medium coverage. I don't typically like to go full coverage, but yeah, that's just my preference. This leaves a little bit of a glow to my skin, which is amazing. So anyone with dry skin would probably like this as it doesn't leave us looking all matte and just dull. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my base. So I'm going to do my concealer, my bronzer and like my lips and stuff. And I'll actually do that on camera too. So I'll film doing the rest of my foundation for you guys to see or the rest of my face for you guys to see. So this is the finished look. Not that this video was based around a look, but this is just the rest of what I've come up with. And to be honest, this is pretty much my everyday makeup. This is how I look on a daily basis and I don't really go much more than this. But back to the point of this video, which is the foundation. I'm actually really, really liking this foundation. I love how dewy it leaves my skin looking. I love, I actually love that it's not a super full coverage foundation. I personally, as I mentioned already, prefer light to medium coverage. And it is just that right now it's sitting at a medium coverage and I absolutely love it. But yeah, I love how it leaves the dewy look to my skin. I love how light it feels, especially on the side that I used the Beauty Blender. This side I used the brush and it definitely I can definitely feel it a lot more. It's really weird like when I like say that because I 
I don't really know how to explain it as much, but I can feel it a lot more on this side. I think because with the brush, it applied it a lot heavier and definitely a little bit more coverage on this side. But I personally preferred the Beauty Blender application because this side of my face feels a lot more light and it doesn't feel heavy and I cannot feel the foundation on my skin at all. It's a beautiful coverage, a beautiful finish. Far so good, definitely will be seeing this in a lot more tutorials. So yeah, um, I think I might actually do a blog post on this later on once I get a lot more uses out of it and have played with it a lot more. Also when I do wear it out for a longer period of time I'll definitely write a review on how it lasted or I'll even post it on Instagram to let you guys know how long it lasted, how I felt at the end of the day. I feel like right now there wouldn't really be a point of me doing it only because it is 7 o'clock p.m. And I'm not really going anywhere, so I'll probably take my makeup off right now and yeah, so I won't be really wearing it for a long period of time, so I can't really tell you how how it lasts to my skin. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done many first impressions before. So I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you guys want to see me do them more often. If there are any products you want to see me try out, leave them down below. And yeah, I've got heaps more products that I haven't tried yet. So I can definitely do more first impressions if that is what you guys would like to see. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. There's always, every time I film a video, there's always someone texting me. And that always goes off. But you know what? I'm not going to start again. So, as I was saying, like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.